Hello, I'm Mike, and here at Eleven Labs, we're thrilled to introduce to you VoiceOver Studio. Let me show you how it works. This is great for creating faceless YouTube videos, ads, narration for games, or podcasts as well, all virtually using the voiceovers and sound effect generator right inside Eleven Labs. I'm going to click to upload a video that I made earlier. Now, you could use your own video, you could use stock footage, or even AI-generated video footage. Let's give the project a name. And with that done, we will create our studio. Okay, over in the top right, you'll see the video that I've generated, and I can scroll through the timeline and see my video. Up here in the top left, I can enter my script, and down at the bottom here, I have the ability to add tracks and edit where the audio is. Let's start by adding the introduction line. Welcome to Mike's Mad Mixes. Okay, my first voiceover generated. I'm going to use the trim tool here to trim this up and move this to the very start of my video. Right about here, I'll add in my next voice. I click and simply type in my script and generate the audio. First, grab two eggs and crack them into a bowl perfectly fitting well with my video. If I don't like the way that second line was delivered, I can actually click the Regenerate button here and Eleven Labs will regenerate the audio. First, grab two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Okay, I really like what I've got so far. I'm going to rename my tracks to Male VO and the secondary track down here is going to be Female VO. So now I know exactly what I'm working with. I want to return to my original male speaker, so I will click just here after the female voice and add in the next line of my script. Channel your inner Hulk and show those eggs who's boss. Also, I notice the female is a little quieter than the male in volume, so let's go ahead and turn that up. I'll select the female voice over here and just simply drag the volume to go up a couple of decibels. Let's listen now. First, grab two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Channel your inner Hulk and show those eggs who's boss. Okay, sounding really good. So let's go ahead and bring in some sound effects. And here, again, I'm going to scroll down and click Add SFX Track. Now down here, I'll be able to add any sound effects to my faceless YouTube video that I'm creating. Let's just rename this to SFX so I know exactly what the track is for. And now I can choose where on the track I would like to place those sound effects. I'm generating the audio of a bowl sliding on a table. Welcome to Mike's Mad Mixes. Okay, that's good. I just want to trim this so it comes precisely as the bowl starts to come in. So I'm using the trim tool over here to make that line up. Welcome to Mike's Mad Mixes. So around about here, we want to have banging egg on side of bowl. And let's generate that. Channel your inner Hulk and show the... Now, if I don't quite like what I've got there, I can regenerate again until I get the sound effect that I'm happy with. Egg elixir for health. And we'll add in some more sound effects right about here. Grab two eggs and... Okay, I really like that cracking sound effect, so I'm actually going to right-click it and copy the clip and paste it right here. First, grab two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Next, we'll go ahead and add in another sound effect here for the cracking of the eggs. Channel your inner Hulk and show those eggs who's boss. Okay, I'm really happy with what I've got so far. Let's continue to add the script in in the male and female voiceover sections. Next, throw in some plain flour. Okay, the voice is okay, but it's not exactly how I'd like it delivered. This time, I'm clicking to insert a female voiceover, and I'm going to scroll down here in my studio to the speech-to-speech -speech dictation area and dictate exactly how I'd like this line set. Next, throw in some plain flour. Then I click Generate Audio STS, which stands for Speech to Speech. So my speech then tells the voiceover how to deliver. Next, throw in some plain flour. Okay, now if I like a sound effect from earlier, like the bowl moving at the start, I can Command C and then paste this exactly where I want in my sound effects timeline. Again, I'm going to generate a sound effect down here for the bag of flour being poured. Here's my next line. Now blend it like a DJ dropping the sickest beats. Now I'm generating some clicks for the attachment of the blender fitting, and I'm going to copy that and use it twice. Like a DJ dropping the sickest beats. And for this bit where I'm blending, I'm going to make some blending sound effects. Now I can really go frame by frame to exactly make sure this sound effect kicks in at the right point. And then I'm going to trim this to end at the point that the scene ends. And again, I need a whoosh sound, so let's grab that again. Command C or Control C on your computer and paste it here at this point. Now you'll notice it doesn't quite match up. Well, as long as I've got the select tool selected, I can actually shorten the duration of that sound effect. Now I'm going to add in more voiceover. Grab a chopping board and get ready to unleash your inner fruit ninja on an apple. Right about here, we need some smashing sounds. Your inner fruit ninja. So here I'm just copying and pasting the same sound effect and stretching it to fit. Ninja on an apple. Then I'm going to zoom out and add another sound effect around about here for the alarm clock sound. Smash it like it's your alarm clock on Monday morning. 
and then we'll generate the throwing sound. That lines up perfectly. It's into the mix. For this bit, I've said pebbles plopping into a slimy liquid to try and be as descriptive and abstract as possible. Now we'll add in some more voiceover. Blend it. Blend it real good. Now I'll trim up that sound of a blender and bring that in a little bit earlier. Blend it real good. Turn the volume down on that blender a little bit so it's not so loud. Blend it real good. Let's create a ding for the blender finishing. And then maybe pitch that up slightly. Now we'll add some more voiceover. For a splash of pizzazz, add some crushed watermelon. And a sound effect for the watermelon. For a splash of pizzazz, add some crushed watermelon. And then at the end of the scene, we can actually split this sound effect off here and delete the remaining part so we cut it at exactly the right moment. For a splash of pizzazz, add some crushed watermelon. And we'll round it off with the final voiceover. Now pour that magic into a glass, raise it high, and sip with pride. And there we have it. Zoom right out and we can see our project at a bird's eye view. We've got the male voiceover track. We've got the female voiceover track, our sound effects track. And now I can play the thing back in its entirety for you to enjoy. Welcome to Mike's Mad Mixes. Hold on to your spatulas because today we're making a legendary egg elixir for health. First, grab two eggs and crack them into a bowl. Channel your inner Hulk and show those eggs who's boss. Next, throw in some plain flour. Any kind of flour will do. Now blend it like a DJ dropping the sickest beats. Grab a chopping board and get ready to unleash your inner fruit ninja on an apple. Smash it like it's your alarm clock on Monday morning. Toss the apple chunks into the mix. Blend it. Blend it real good. For a splash of pizzazz, add some crushed watermelon. Now pour that magic into a glass, raise it high, and sip with pride. Mm. Yeah, that's one funky fresh egg apple watermelon mix. Now, once I'm happy with my generation in VoiceOver Studio, I can go ahead and export it. And there's a number of different formats I can do so I can export the original as an MP4 video. I also have the ability to export the timeline data as an AAF file. And then I can take that AAF file and pull it into my professional editor to make tweaks to the audio and video as I require. Now, in the example you've just seen, I've created an amazing faceless YouTube video using some footage I shot and voiceovers that I created inside Eleven Labs, along with sound effects also generated by Eleven Labs. But let's take a look at another example, creating a podcast with virtual hosts. Diving into the voiceover studio, you'll see my existing project now exists here and I can always go back and edit and export it later on but I'm going to create a new studio. I'm calling it Virtual Podcast. Now up here in Advanced Options we can actually import a script. Now Import Script supports CSV files with speaker and lines included. I've created a podcast CSV file with exactly that. Speaker in the first column, line in the second column and if you want to be more precise you can include start and end times as well. And here we are populated in a snap my virtual podcast. Welcome to the Virtual Vibes Podcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Sam. So Alex, I've been thinking, we're not even real. Ha ha ha, right? We're just ones and zeros. I mean, I don't even have a body. Ooh, ha ha! Okay, that's pretty reasonable as a first draft, but there are things we can do inside VoiceOver Studio to further refine this and get exactly what we're looking for. Now, I want to use some different hosts, and that's easy to do on a track-wide basis using these cogs here. I can click into the cog on host one, and I can search through for a voice that I'd really like to use. So let's go for... In my younger and more vulnerable years. Okay, I really like Brian, so I'm going to click and try for Brian. I'm also going to play around with stability and similarity and style to get something a little more eccentric. Next, I'll go over to host two, and I'll select a new voice for host two. All our knowledge has its origins in our perception. Okay, I like Sarah, so let's go for Sarah here. And again, we'll play around with the similarity and stability and style to get something different. Now, you'll notice when I've selected new speakers and new settings, we get a bunch of stale audio. I could go through and click to regenerate each voiceover. But it's really easy to do this on a track-wide basis by going down here to Generate Stale Audio, and it will regenerate everything. And there you go with the stale audio regenerated. Let's have a listen to the podcast with our new hosts. Welcome to the Virtual Vibes Podcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Sam. So, Alex, I've been thinking, we're not even real. Ha ha ha, right? We're just ones and zeros. I mean, I don't even have a body. Ooh, ha ha. Same here. I don't even need sleep. Talk about productivity goals. Exactly. No coffee, no sleep, and definitely no traffic jams. Perks of being virtual, huh? Totally. 
Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. So it sounded pretty good. I kind of just wanted the second host to say perks of being virtual in a different way so I can zoom in on that line and just click the regenerate button. And let's listen again. And definitely no traffic jams. Perks of being virtual, huh? Now that's sounding much better. So if you don't quite get the result you want on a particular section, clicking regenerate here on any voiceover will create another take for you. Now, the final feature I want to show you in VoiceOver Studio is the ability to upload audio using upload audio here. You can upload MP3, AAC, WAV, and FLAC files as well, and it's really easy to do so. So let's do that. Podcast intro here is a little music bed I created to start this virtual podcast. And now we have a little bit of introduction music at the start of our show. Welcome to the Virtual Vibes Podcast. I'm Alex. And I'm Sam. So Alex, I've been thinking... So there you go. You can hear how the music is bubbling away at the start. This is a great way to bring in custom music or voiceovers or sound effects you've already used that you want to use in the Eleven Labs voiceover studio. When we're happy with the podcast we've created, it doesn't need to have a video. We just click export and we can choose the format of audio file we'd like. We can do AAC audio, audio tracks, AAF, timeline data to use in a professional editor, or even SRT file if we need captions generated. Now this virtual podcast works incredibly well in English, but what if we want to reach a wider audience? That's easy inside VoiceOver Studio. With the plus icon next to original, we can choose another language and add that language. And here is our virtual podcast in Spanish. Bienvenidos al podcast Virtual Vibes. Soy Alex. Y yo soy Sam. Entonces, Alex, he estado pensando, ni siquiera somos reales. Ja, 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 ¿verdad? Somos solo unos y ceros. Quiero decir, ni siquiera tengo un cuerpo. Oh, ja, ja. Igual aquí, ni siquiera necesito dormir. Hablando de metas, de productividad. Exactamente. Sin café, sin sueño y definitivamente sin atascos de tráfico. Ventajas de ser virtual, ¿eh? Totalmente. Bueno, eso es todo por hoy, amigos. Gracias por sintonizar. And there you go. In seconds, we've generated a new version of our podcast in Spanish. It's the new VoiceOver Studio from Eleven Labs, and we can't wait to see what you create with it.